E3 2009 gave us a ton of great games to look forward to, and of course, Xbox did not disappoint this year either. They had quite a few cool announcements themselves, but at the end of the day, what is every gamer looking for? GAMES! Now take note, there's a lot of information here so it won't fit into just one video. This will be split up, just like last year's, into two videos. I will leave a link at the end of this video to go to the next one so you can finish watching the top 10. So, without further ado, I give you Xbox Cheaters Top 10 Best Xbox 360 Games for Christmas 2009. Number 10. Red Faction Guerrilla Red Faction Guerrilla takes place on Mars 50 years after the events of the original Red Faction. You play as Alec Mason. And the premise is, well, pretty simple. There's an oppressive government, your brother dies, there's angry settlers, and so you're handed a hammer, some bombs, and some guns. Then you're pointed at the dictator's strongholds and told to go take down the bad guys. It's not really going to rock your world story-wise, but it's pretty fun when you can literally blow up anything you want, and you don't have to follow a linear path, so you can just really just go around and blow up whatever you want. Sometimes <laughs> you just gotta blow stuff up. There's quite a few aspects to the multiplayer, so you will definitely have more to do after the 12 to 15 hours of the story mode. Number 9. Brutal Legend. Now, here's a game that's just cool by concept. Brutal Legend was created by Tim Schafer and stars Jack Black as the main character Eddie Riggs. Bring on the impalement! A legendary roadie summoned to a world of heavy metal by accidentally releasing the heavy metal god Ormagodon. This heavy metal world is ruled by human oppressing demons, and it's your job as Eddie to stop them. And what's a warrior without his own weapons? Your arsenal includes an axe, an electric guitar, and a supercharged hot rod known as the Deuce. With these weapons, it's up to you to save humanity. While most were not expecting a real-time strategy aspect sewn into an action RPG, it works well and it's the source for any multiplayer action. If you aren't interested in any of that, expect this legend to rock 8-10 to 10 hours out of your life. Number 8. Halo 3 ODST Halo 3 ODST follows the storyline of the Orbital Drop Shock Troopers. The story takes place about halfway through Halo 2. You play as the rookie, with your team about to infiltrate the assault carrier looming over New Mombasa when it jumps into slip space, destroys part of the city, and throws your HEV off course and separates you from the rest of your squad. Now you must reunite with your fellow Helljumpers and unravel the mystery around the real reason why you and your team are running around the Covenant-infested streets of New Mombasa. And now everybody knows most people go for Halo games for the multiplayer. ODST gives you the complete Halo 3 multiplayer experience on a second disc. That's right, all the maps, DLC, and even Forge. It's a pretty good value if you don't already have Halo 3. There is also a new multiplayer feature in ODST similar to Gears of War Horde mode, but it still feels like Halo just in case the 6-8 to eight hour campaign isn't enough for you. Number 7. Borderlands Borderlands is a first-person shooter RPG. Now, it sounds a bit strange, but it's pulled off without a hitch. The world of Pandora draws adventurers spanning the universe, all in search of the Vault. Within the Vault is the promise of fame, fortune, power, and anything else you can imagine that you could want. So naturally, everyone and their dog, including you, are interested in getting into that Vault. At the beginning, you get to choose between four different classes, each with their own unique abilities. Like any other RPG, you kill enemies to gain experience, level up, and discover or buy better gear. The landscape is littered with all kinds of loot, enemies, and millions of guns. That's right, millions. This game is a quest-based game and can kind of feel a little bit like a grind, but seeing new enemies and being able to take them down with bigger and better guns makes it all worth it. The online co-op questing works well as long as you're within 10 levels of each other. The game becomes more fun with more people by increasing the difficulty of the enemies, giving you better chances to get better loot. You can even play split screen, but with less screen space, it's often harder to figure out what's going on. You'll be searching for the vault for at least 30 hours if you don't touch any of the numerous side quests scattered throughout the game. If you want a game that's going to take you some time, 
Borderlands will do just that. Number 6. Dragon Age Origins Dragon Age Origins is what's called a spiritual successor to one of the most successful role-playing games in history. That game? Baldur's Gate. It doesn't really follow Baldur's Gate like a sequel or a prequel would, but still carries many of the same elements and themes of it. Aiming for a slightly older crowd, Dragon Age Origins follows a darker story and gameplay. Once you play through your character's origin story, you find out the nation of Ferelden is in deep, deep trouble. And, of course, it's up to you to fix things. Creatures known as Darkspawn, being led by an evil archdemon that has taken the form of a giant dragon, are creeping up through the ground to wage war on the surface dwellers. Only by joining a military order that deals specifically with Darkspawn eradication can you save the world. Don't be surprised if this game takes you 50 hours or longer to save Ferelden. Games like Dragon Age Origins have been known to take ages to finish. Click here to see part 2 of the top 10 list.